when you can find the thing that makes your student tick, when you can find the thing that they can relate to, then you can talk to them about your identity. So when I'm talking to students who are from countries where they have had to flee because of war or where they have had to get out of there quickly because of worsening economic conditions and no jobs and dangerous situations, I can say, tell me about your struggle with that. Tell me your story. Asking the question, what happened? What happened to you? Not what's wrong with you. Not why did you do this this way? But what happened? Tell me the story. Then you dig into their story. You let them talk. And when you realize that they are now sharing a part of themselves with you and you have allowed for that comfortable space to emerge and to make itself known, then that's when I as a person can say, I don't have your experiences, but here's how I've experienced struggle. Here's how I've experienced ableism. Here's how I've experienced the lack of understanding and frustration that you're describing because this is not your first language. Here's how I've experienced that. It is not the same as what you are describing, but we are not the same. And the reason that we're having this conversation is because we want to build a relationship from a place of equity. So we need to come to the table understanding that we are not equal. We're not the same. How, although we may have some experiences that are similar, but we need to come to the table understanding that we need to build empathy to come to a place of equity.